Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the Four Tech Make You Loco channel. So today I have a pretty useful video for you guys out there that own the 5.0 liter Coyote engine. Uh, so I only know the F-150s, but I'm sure a lot of this applies to the Mustangs with the 5.0 also. Um, so these engines, they're great. They have a few problems. I don't like them one bit. Um, they're reliable, but they're not without their issues. Uh, their biggest issue with this engine is coolant leaks. I mean, these things leak from everywhere and then some. I've never seen an engine leak coolant so bad. So today we're gonna go through the, f the top five uh, leak points for coolant on here. And we're gonna start with this one right here. Now this engine, this setup, this engine compartment is a 2015 F-150 5.0, uh, but you know, 11 through 14 are very similar and the same kind of problems, unfortunately. And some of these problems, they go all the way up into the current generation F-150s, the same old problems and leaks over and over again. So I'm talking about 11 to 21, 22, same problems. Good job, Ford. Anyways, let's go over to the engine compartment and check it out. All right, here we go. So what I'm going to do is I'll walk you through all five common leak points on here. I'll point them out to you, but I'll also go in order. So number one, I see all the time. Number five, yeah, it's common enough. Uh, but nowhere near as often as I see number one. So I'll go ahead and order. So the number one absolute most common leak point is going to be the upper radiator hose where it clips into this T adapter right here, okay? So the right here is a spring lock and then an O-ring inside that's a quick connect. And they leak all the freaking time. So if you have coolant leaks, get on the belt, smell it up front here probably gonna be coming from here luckily you don't need to replace the entire hose you can just buy the o-ring i'll link to this stuff down below uh, the second most common as you can imagine is the actual t connector which is right here you can see it right here so it goes to the upper radiator hose down to the thermostat housing with the quick connect and then over here it has a regular constant tension clamp to the water neck so as you can imagine, these are pretty reliable. Uh, the crimp here, the plastic is reliable. But again, the O-ring aside of here, they start to leak after a while in these quick connects. For these, you need to buy the entire new housing to get the proper size O-ring. Number three would be, on a 15 and newer, would be the degas bottle at the seams on here. They like to leak at the seams on here after a while, and they start seeping coolant out. So you want to check that too. Now on the 11 through 14 models, I've never seen a degas bottle leak, but those also use a quick connect hose. And it looks a little something like this. It's a little quick connect hose that pops into there and it loops around and goes to the uh, inlet here for the water pump. So over here, it's a constant tension clamp. Over here, it's just a regular quick connect. It's allowed to swivel and move, and that's how it works on that O-ring and starts to leak. Very, very common. Now on these, on the 15 and newer, they also have a quick connect. You can see it right here. But Ford, uh, their spring lock quick connects, but now there's a little notch in them so they can't move, move around and cause leaks. So these I've never seen leak at the quick connect. Um, but the seams here, the actual seam, I've seen them leak. Now, number four would be the water pump itself. So the water pump is down inside of here. I'll show you right here. So it'll leak out the weep hole like any other water pump. But trust me, when they leak, they just start shooting out of there. It's a pretty good sized leak. It's not a dribble. So this is how the water pump looks right here. Here's that weep hole, that tattletale hole right there. And they'll start pouring out of there. Um, now on this one, well, let's not get into this one just yet. That's number four, okay? So this is number four. Number five... Um, I've seen it. It's not the most common, um, but I've seen it enough. Is there's heater hoses that go right here, quick connect over to the heater core, and the same thing over here. So they both can leak. They're quick connects with O-rings on them. I've never really seen this one leak. I don't know if that I know of, uh, but this one over here, this one right here, you'll see it leak down. Okay, it'll leak down. And then it'll get, let me get you focused there. It'll pull up on the head and then it'll run down the head to the back of the engine and come down the bell housing back there. So if you have a coolant leak and it's dripping down the backside of the engine, it's coming from this guy right here. 
this guy right here. Okay, so those are the five most common coolant leak spots, but there are others. Like I said, these things leak coolant from everywhere. It's unbelievable. So this one in here is in here for quite the coolant leak, and it's actually coming from the thermostat housing right here. So you can see that lower bolt right there, it's all wet. Well, I had pressurized the other day, and it was just dripping out of there big time. I mean, a constant stream and a drip coming out of there. Here, I'll show you a video. So yeah, these, you know, I doubt it's just the O-ring on there. I'm sure there's a lot of pitting with the amount of corrosion. So he's getting an entire new thermostat housing on there. I'm not messing around. These are pretty cheap, all new, both sides. So you got a nice new improved ceiling surface on this side for the quick connect. On this side too, new thermostat, everything inside of there. Everything comes together. He's getting a whole new one. Make sure it's done, done right. Now, that's an uncommon leak, but another leak point. Uh, there was a guy complaining the other day that he sees block heaters and these things leak all the dang time. I have a 16 Mustang coming in Monday, 5.0 liter, more coolant leaks. I mean, it's really bad. And then this one right here is a radiator from a 16 F-150. Uh, the other day we just finished it. I came in leaking coolant. I figured, ah, it's one of those uh, common leak points on there. Nope, pressure tested it. Everything looks good, except for the radiator. So right here, it's probably almost impossible to see there's a little micro crack right in this area here and it was leaking down pooling right here coming around this rib coming to the tank seam crimps going down and you can see some of it right here so i thought oh, that's just some of the uh the crimps on here you know early ford models used to have a lot of problems with the crimps on there the tank seams leaking nope i got a mirror up inside of there because it's inside the uh, radiator uh mount up there i had to get a mirror inside of there and look, and it was just coming right out of here and coming down. So, yeah, these things freaking leak all over the place. I generally do not like this engine. I know a lot of you out there are going to hate me for that, but this engine, I feel, is underpowered. They make too much noise. Uh, you know, the, the bolts on these things rust from the, the ignition coils to the, the valve covers. I'm talking at a point you can't get them out. Um, they have coolant leaks left and right. Uh, the early models with stamp pan, they have leaks left and right with the oil pans on them. And then the 18 through 20s are absolute junk. I love Ford, but they're absolute junk. I wouldn't wish that on anybody to buy one of those uh, without knowing that. Um, so this, this engine I generally do not like. But yeah, the biggest problem in general, though, is coolant leaks. I mean, they leak from everywhere. Think about it. And it's probably leaking from there. But those are the five most common. That's all for now. See you guys next time.